Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, thank you for being here. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so recently I have spoken about something which is... I've been expecting for a little while with what's been going on the past year and what's happened in the last year to 18 months. And of course, it relates to something which means a lot to me. It is my hair. Now, I'm not vain. I'm not cocky or stuck up or anything like that at all but my hair does give me great confidence and i always like to have slick hair now as you can probably tell i've got it slicked back today okay and i've got longer length hair okay and i've got it done up at the back here and um i've got it probably to about my shoulders now it's just coming past my shoulders it's fine length but i've got quite a lot of it um but in the front i'm noticing um and i have noticed this in about the last i'd say since about the start of may i noticed this um my hair has always been very, very full in the front, uh, very kind of, um, very straight, um, but it, it styles really, really well. But I've had fine hair, but quite a high density. Um, back in 2015, I lost a lot of hair in the front, and I had like a golf ball size amount here, which was gone, just behind here. And then the front really did sort of thin out, quite diffuse thinning behind the hairline. Um, what I've noticed in the last nine weeks, very, very similar, um, that's that's been happening. Um, so feeling quite flat, quite demoralised, especially when I wash my hair, because at the moment it seems to be nothing but single hairs. Um, and I say single hairs because I don't mean clumps, I mean literally almost like that you've had a haircut and it's all over your hands. I, I, I have quite a great knowledge, I will be honest, of products which can help with hair loss and hair thinning. I talk about it very, very often on my channel. I have a huge passion for uh, hair care for men and for women, um, but primarily around having that optimum scalp environment for the thickest and the most healthiest head of hair. My favourite products are Viviscal for Men um, and Stemioxidine Cerioxyl Denser Hair Solution. I love those two products. Um, there are some other supplements which I've tried as well, which uh, the company kindly reached out to me and reminded me how um, that they potentially might be able to help me. But the HR23 Plus uh, supplement, it, well, I had really, really, really great benefits from that product. But as with anything, just because of cost um, and the price of everything at the moment going up, the amount of um, uh, money I have, to be quite honest with you, uh, which you can use on hair products, it's not as much as it used to be. I'll be honest with you. My channel is all about honesty. It's all about integrity. I can't spend that much now i'm i'm studying courses in the background as well I'm, I'm working on sort of my career in the background i'm uh trying to buy my first house um all of these things and i know somebody will be watching on my channel that you've had several holidays this year bradley i know but the thing is when you want to do these things in life when you look at your hair i really do try to concentrate on eating a healthy diet with richer fruits and vegetables i try to control the stress and just a simple thing, when I wash and condition my hair, I really try to concentrate on my scalp and I try to sort of have that deep massage to really get that invigoration and that blood flow uh, to the roots. In the last year, 18 months, I've been super, super stressed. I really have been. To be honest with you, I'm surprised I've got a hair on my head. I really am. Um, losing my nan, my, my world um, was turned upside down. It really, really was. And it days, it's still very, very difficult. My nan is everything to me. She's my second mum. So losing her, and I lost her on the 31st of May, 2021. So we are coming past that year mark now and with her birthday on the 5th of June. It's been hell at times. It really has been. And with one thing or another with health worries and just general I think your 20s, I've recently turned 29 actually last weekend, and I think if anybody asks me what your 20s, I can sum them up. They're stressful because you're trying to chase what you want in life, and it's so, so easy to get carried away with that and to kind of neglect your health. But I do worry. I am a natural worrier. Um, but I'm trying to gain control of all of this. I really, really am. And since about the last nine weeks ago, um, I noticed just as i was washing my hair in the shower absolutely loads of hair but not to the point where it was noticeable but i was thinking where is all this hair coming from i never used to have all of this so when i went to pathos and cyprus I had an amazing holiday but every time in the shower loads and loads of hair but didn't really think too much of it when i came home it carried on to be quite honest as well didn't really stop use sort of like the normal kind of things which i use on a day-to-day -day basis um but didn't use viviscal for men haven't used stomioxidine um either just because from when i started using stomioxidine uh, denser hair solution 
that used to be uh, around the £20 mark. Now you can probably pay sometimes nearly £30. I've even seen it for £35. The same with Viviscal. I'll be honest, I took that for, I think I took that for nearly a year. And I paid nearly £850 on that. I know, it's a lot of money. Um, fantastic supplement. Um, Stomach oxidine denser hair solution, really, really great. But then if you're using it all over your scalp, it doesn't last very long, in great honesty. It's a great product and it really does help with keeping your hair thick, keeping your hair full. When I had hair loss back in 2015, Stomach oxidine uh, denser hair solution, I didn't use it initially straight away. But when I wanted to improve my hair and I found that product, I used it. And then I've used it several times throughout the year to boost your hair. Um, but ultimately, where things have changed and sort of priorities change, I haven't had the amount of funds to be quite honest with you i like exploring different and trying different products and things but sometimes i have to try one buy one and i'll leave it a while and then i purchase something different and then i review it love doing that on my channel it's an absolute passion of mine but now i've noticed that i've recently had another holiday i went to lanzarote had an amazing time and that was around the time that was the anniversary of losing nan one year and it was her birthday always uh, also and that was the last place my nan holidayed so it was great to go there me and my mum went there and um, we celebrated because it's my my mum's mum and um the three of us always had that incredible bond and we still do even though my nan my nan is watching over me we still do in my heart and um i you know it was great but again hair didn't stop noticed it absolutely crazy amounts but i'm told for the uh the really great help um amazing company hr23 i'm not sponsored by them at all um, it's just a really great supplement which i tried quite a while back now um had great benefits from it really really great but again i'll be honest cost when you're having to pay a certain amount just to sustain a level it comes a time when I actually have to evaluate things and can you afford to do it all the time? Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. At the moment, my priorities are elsewhere. I've enrolled on several courses at the moment to help with my career. My career is going really, really well. It's in accountancy and finance. It's amazing, but it's expensive. It is expensive. Um, and of course, with all the other things going up in, in the way of life at the moment, I necessarily, to be honest, don't want to be spending that amount of money. So I'm trying to work on my hair and the problem I'm having I've got an area here now you would you wouldn't notice here you can i'm probably giving it away a little bit but it's behind this area this bit of hair here which i've done some real creative work i <laughs> i have got i'd say about this here actually about this here okay is really changed severely in density in about the last nine weeks um this bit here and you can and this is actually quite alarming because i never had this but in here yeah, not very nice. So I don't want to show you at the moment. I'll be quite honest. I'm not ready to do that. But I'm noticing a bit of a change just behind here. So it's the same area. Not here at the moment, thankfully. But about here and sort of up here, I'm noticing. It's about a golf ball size amount where I can see the concentrated amount of loss. Um, there's still hair there and there's little tiny hairs there coming through. So I'm hoping it's going to recover. But it's exactly how it was in 2015. And I actually, 2015, I had it here, but this time it seems to be more over. But I do notice that it is starting to come here. Since I've done this last uh, sort of update on my hair, it has got worse. But I've started using this product, which I said to you uh, while I was going to, to use. And I don't know if you can see just because of the lighting, but this product I bought um, from Holland and Barrett after speaking to a really, really kind chap in there. He was talking to me about, he's qualified, he was talking to me about hair and hair loss. And he suggested I use this product. And this is by Natural Hair Science, Stem Growth Ecology, Follicle Defense. Um, okay, so it's got Capilla Longa at uh, the clinical proven level to reduce hair loss and inside here it has got um it's uh what's the list of ingredients okay so key ingredients we've got caffeine we've got creatine we've got ca uh, caplia longa which is apparently renowned for helping sustain hair growth and to help hair loss we've also got zinc we've got vitamin b3 biotin vitamin b6 and vitamin e and this is a uh is a, a foam and it's a really cooling foam sorry you can't actually see this behind you can see all of my stuff on top of my wardrobe that you behind having a bit of a move around in here um so do forgive me for that but this is a really really great product and it's a foam i don't even mind showing you because it's it's that much of a cool product that's all my books up there by the way all my study books which you can see there there we go <laughs> and a few novels and things which i really like um yeah so foam mousse i'm just gonna it's, as you can see, thin, and it's, it's just as easy as watch this. Put it in your hairline, brushing it through. See? That's what I do. And the area I've got problems with is just behind here. Okay. 
Bit of a nightmare. Not very nice. Affects my confidence, I have to admit, at the moment. But a lot of you will probably turn around and say, well, he's got loads of hair. What's he worried about? Well, my friends, prevention is better than cure. And back in 2015, I lost a lot. And it wasn't very nice. It was horrible. Um, and it really does affect your confidence. And for somebody like myself, it... It, it is a big thing because hair is us, isn't it? Hair is us. For men and women, it's our very character. It is our, it's our identity in a way, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm known for, I'm known in my family for <laughs> having cool hair, cool great hair. So, but anyway, getting back to this, you can see it's gone, disappeared, no problem. I've got a style which I've got a comb slick back today. This foam, I can't even see it, I'm ever so sorry with the lighting and things, but hopefully you can. It's really, really great. You can get this on Amazon. Okay, it's sixteen ninety nine. So what I've done is I bought one from Holland and Barrett, and then when I looked at the delivery, it wasn't going to be here for ages. It turned up in two days, but then I went on Amazon and I bought one as well. Did I buy one? I think I bought one. I may have bought two. I'd have to look at my cupboard. But anyway, um, so both sixteen ninety nine. and I thought, you know what? This is absolutely causing me a lot of stress. So I thought, regardless of the money, I'm just going to get it. Um, but the guy in Holland and Barrett, actually, who I was speaking to here in the UK, he also suggested that I took a, um, a basically a good bacterial, uh, good bacteria um, supplement for good bacteria in the stomach, because he thought that perhaps because I have a lot of stomach trouble and things like that, um, I suffer with sort of very fluctuating weight is why I can lose weight incredibly quickly. And then it kind of fluctuates and then it drops off me is literally as, as quick as that, um, which sometimes worries me. But um, so I have a lot of problems around that as well and diet. Um, and he thought that perhaps with the good bacteria, I, I necessarily didn't have the right levels present. So it was perhaps affecting my whole body where I, the nutrients and things I was consuming through fruits, vegetables in my daily diet, I wasn't absorbing that the most efficiently. So therefore my hair was feeling the effects as well. I'll be honest, I've been taking this now. It was quite expensive. I thought it was expensive anyway. It was about £15. Pounds. Um, bio something I can't remember, but it is, I'll attach the clip on the end where I talk about it and actually show you. So that will be at the top, that will be, you know, you get two videos at the end of a YouTube clip, I, on my setting anyway, um, and it will be the top one, so if you want to have a look, you can have a look at that as well. Um, but straight away I've noticed a difference in the bloating, I get quite a lot of sort of, um, sort of stomach related problems, bloating, that type of thing, uh, a lot of indigestion, that type of thing. Uh, so, um, that, about the first thing, two, three days have noticed a change, but it is slowly coming back. And I've only been taking it, I'd say, just over a week now. So not that impressive it. And of course, far too early to say if it's noticed an effect of my hair, because um, it's still shedding loads. Um, but I'm told by HR23 that that could be potentially down to the stress um, and seasonal hair loss as well. So I'm hoping it grows back. They've assured me some really great feedback, really great support. So I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, and I will be visiting their site to have a look at the supplements because I had a really great experience with them. So I would like to supplement um, my sort of diet on that as well. So do reach. I absolutely urge you. I have great experience. Have a look on their website. It's HR23. OK, um, I have really great really really great experience with them and i'm thinking i'm going back there at the moment i'm going to try and give a couple more weeks go on this phone um at the moment and then i'm going to go back to it because at the moment i'm having quite a lot of stomach problems i don't really want to be jumping straight into it but i probably will be having said that just because of my hair and it's through here but what i'm doing at the moment i'm spraying a product so it's wet okay you may think that's absolutely ludicrous because you're going to see straight through the hair but then what i'm doing is i'm brushing my hair off to the side to cover this and I'm just making sure that then I use a comb and I press the hair down quite flat so I cover the area. As you can see, it's just behind here, this is changing, it's just behind here and then it's here. So it's a bit like a triangle and then it's about to here a little bit thinner as well. So it's quite a significant change for me, it has to be. Um, it has to be, it is. Um, yeah, so foam, am I noticing a change? I think so some days. It does say that you have to use it for 150 days, okay. Um, and it's up to an 89% hair loss reduction. So of course that's quite a long time. I've only used it for just over a week. I'm noticing a slight reduction um, and I can see lots of little tiny hairs, but I'm still seeing the amount of change as well, which it, it does worry me, it does bother me. Yesterday I had quite a stressful time of it because I was thinking, well, how my hair was only about four months ago and to now, um, yeah, so of course I'm trying to use volumizing shampoos, that type of thing, just to make it look like I've got more there. But very often I wear my hair like this, I don't really wear it 
down to be quite honest with you and you've got my hair as you can see all done up at the at the back here like a men's top knot and then the excess the length of the hair I wrap it back round so it looks more as well um but yeah it is uh it is a bit of a change it is a bit of a thing to get used to I have to admit I recently had my hair cut and I had the bulk at the back um cut into a little bit just to sort of equal where I've lost a little bit of the density on this side when it's down long so I have it all over onto this side now the passing I've had the back cut into a bit just so I've got a bit more length a bit more fullness a bit more going on so it matches the sort of the thickness so it's a bit more finer here so therefore I've had it cut into a bit more this side and at the back so it all blends a bit more rather than having it thick and bulky this side and in the back and then less here Fine hair, bearing in mind, can still be thick and bulky. Um, it can just mean, of course, that sometimes you've got to be quite tactile how you style the hair if it's thinner in an area. A little bit like what I'm going for at the moment. But I do believe that it will come back. Hopefully, fingers crossed. I will be very open and honest. If you want to know something, if you want to ask a question, please do so. I will give you my absolute honest view, honest result back. Um, yeah, it's a bit naff at the moment. The only thing I don't want to do, and please, please understand at the moment, um, I really don't like that because I was going to show you here, but when I show you on a camera and the way I've got my lighting, I'm not amazing with lighting on YouTube at all by any means of imagination. You can actually see it looks horrible. Um, the light shines straight through. It's almost like that I've got near enough no hair behind there, right the way back up to here. Um, and you can just see white sort of scalp. You can't actually see the pickup of the hair there, if you get what I mean. And there is hair there. It's not as bad as it looks, but it is certainly different. It's changed. Um, yeah, so that's the update now. I hope that kind of I hope that kind of helps and and kind of keeps you on board with what's happening. It's not great at the moment. It has got a little bit worse. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to report back to you in a couple of weeks now because I'm going to take a bit of a break. I think again now, just because I'm not feeling great with things. This is really getting me down, and I'm just trying to throw myself into my studies and just change things up a little bit as well. Um, yeah, the future is bright. I have to admit, but stay positive. These things are sent to try us and try us to do as my dear now bless her heart would say. Um, but if hair is all we had to worry about, wouldn't it be a great world? Wouldn't it be a great life? It really, really would. Um, on that note, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I will be seeing you, hopefully, fingers crossed, real soon. Take great care, my friends. I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.